Good morning, my YouTube family. This morning, we are still going to pray. We're going to pray and ask God, Father, please grant unto me the grace and wisdom to humble myself before you at all times. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please pray that prayer. It is very important. And it's my sincere desire that the Almighty God will grant our request in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today we are looking at Destiny Destroyers Pride Part 2. Yesterday we looked at Destiny Destroyers Pride Part 1. Today we are going to be looking at Part 2. May the good Lord wipe out every spirit of pride in our lives, even as we watch this video in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Bible passage will be taken from 1 Peter 5, 6. Well, let us go straight to our memory verse, James 4, verse 6. It says, But he giveth more grace. We are for... He saith, God resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. May the good Lord give grace to us, even as we humble ourselves in Jesus' name. Amen. From this memory verse that we just read, we see, we can see that God resists the proud. That is what the Bible says in James 4, 6, that God resists the proud. That means God opposes the proud. So if the Almighty God is your opponent, how will you ever win? You can imagine your opponents being the Almighty God. Is there any chance of you winning at all? Beloved, think about it. The major problem of the proud is that the proud people, they don't know that they are proud. Or will I say they pretend not to know? Or they claim not to know? They claim they are not proud. Instead, they look for different names. Some semantics, some more beautiful names to use to describe who they are. Some will say self respect, I have self respect for myself. Some will say self confidence. Or they will say, I am just honoring my position. Like King Saul did. Saul was asking Samuel to honor his position as the king. In 1 Samuel, verse 15, chapter 15, verse 13. And he said that when he lost the throne. But David, who was the king that took over from him, the king after him, had danced like a commoner, even though he was a king, he danced like a commoner. And was even mocked by his wife, his own wife. And what did he answer her? He told her, I am dancing for the one who made me king in the place of your father. Second Samuel 6, 16 to 21. Because David was humble, that was why he danced before God like that. And I didn't the Lord say that during praises and worship, 
you will know who and who is proud and who is not by the way they worship God, by the way they praise God. He said, look at children. Because the children do, are not seeking to protect any position or anything, you see them, they dance and praise God freely. They just praise God, dancing the best way that they can or they know how to. I didn't know so that one time they held a service in one of the universities. So that the vice chancellor danced, even danced far more than the students. And God looked at him from heaven and he saw what happened. And he took notes. And he said that when some weeks later, the enemies, they rose up and try to remove him. The Lord of hosts fought on his behalf and gave him victory. When you humble yourself, God will fight your battles for you. It is one thing that we need to take note. You humble yourself, God will fight your battle. There is just no doubt, no controversy whatsoever. Humble yourself, and God will fight for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then the Lord also told us the story of one of the biggest program that he ever held, which was Tag Lake 98. I believe that was the program that started the Holy Ghost Congress. He said that when he got back to the camp, and that night, during his usual prayer work, between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m., he said that he suddenly heard God say, Son, bend down and draw a figure of a man in the sand. He said that he drew the figure. And then God said, Stand up and wipe that drawing, the, what you drew with your foot. He said that he did that. He said, then, God said, Son, if you ever forget who is in charge, I will wipe you out and nobody will ever remember you came into the world. Hmm. That was a big one. So it does not matter how high God has taken you to. He can bring you down with the snap of his fingers. According to Proverbs 16, 18, it says, Pride goeth before destruction, and, and haunting spirits before a fall. So, you would be wise to become more humble as you rise. Because the higher you go, the greater it will be if you fall. So if you become proud when you are high, when you are up there, by the time you fall, it will be, that is like dumb pity in the children uh, rhythm and rhyme. It will be a mighty fall. Just like the lament, one of the lamentations in the Bible say, how are the mighty falling? That is how good. The mighty fall is different from the fall of an ordinary person. So when you get up there, do not say, oh, because I have arrived, I am there. What else is remaining? Remember God, your creator. Humble yourself before him at all times. And he will be there for you. 
he will fight your battle and he will not allow you to fall. He will give you grace, abundant grace, even extravagant grace. I pray for everyone watching this video. The good Lord will shower you with extravagant grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My word today for you is remain humble. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn for today is hymn 10. In Christ alone. We should sing it wherever you are. Are you in your place of work? In your business place? Are you at home? Are you on the street? Are you driving? Just continue to sing the hymn to the Almighty God. And He will surely be with you today and touch you at the points of your needs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please do subscribe to my channel if you have not. Give me a like. And share with your friends and families. Again, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. Share with friends, families, colleagues. And everyone that you know. And the Almighty God will really bless you. It is by from me.